Leland? Hello, Mr. Elmo. How you doing? Oh, Elmo's great. Mr. Leland, how many times have you been in the space? Let's see. I've been in the space two times, uh, in 2008 and 2009, on Space Shuttle Atlantis. Really? Yeah, and the space shuttle looks like this. Really? This is space shuttle looks like an airplane, mm -hmm. but it's got... And that all goes up in the air? This is, goes up in the air, and it has two solid rocket boosters mm -hmm. and three engines below it, and then you have this huge orange tank, which has liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen in it, to act as the fuel for the three main engines. Really? Isn't that cool? That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. And so this thing takes off, it shakes and launches and goes up, and in about two and a half minutes, these two white solid rocket boosters come off because yeah. all the fuel is used up. But then what, what happens with that big orange thing in the middle? Well, the big orange thing, when we get to space, the big orange thing comes off, mm -hmm. and then it goes into the atmosphere and burns up. And maybe a few pieces land, in the ocean, but most of it burns up in the atmosphere. Wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Well, so Mr. that's how we get to space. That's cool. Yeah. Mr. Leland, what does space food look like? Space food, let's see. Well, look, I have some right here. Wait a minute. Look at that. Did you just say that's space food? That is space food <laughs> in plastic, though. Really? Yeah. All right, look at this. Creams. Well, it doesn't look very edible. <laughs> see? <laughs> well, but you do this. This is cream spinach. Uh -huh. You take a needle and you put water into this yeah. and it expands. And then you put it in a heater and heat it up mm -hmm. for about five to 10 minutes. See, it says two ounces of hot water, five to 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you're ready to eat it. Well, so where, does, where does it come from? It comes from, we have a food lab at Johnson Space Center. Oh, so you make it there? They make it there. They make oh. it nutritious, they make it healthy, they make it- What, you know, what so does it taste the same? Some of it does. Some of it tastes the same, some of it doesn't. Because when you go to space, your taste buds don't work the same like they do. They don't? No. But mine did. Really? Yeah. Well, good for you. Good for me. Well, how right. do you eat it? Okay, so you take the scissors and you cut it, mm -hmm. and you get your spoon, and you dip it down, and you put it in your mouth and you eat it. Isn't really? that cool? Well, Mr. Leland, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah, your favorite food. Okay, here's some green beans and mushrooms. You gotta That's be, your favorite food? You gotta be healthy in space. Okay, but let me tell you something. Elmo, uh, yeah? my favorite food mm -hmm. is a chocolate pudding cake. That's what's in there? That's what's in here, chocolate pudding cake. If I cut this open, you'll see chocolate cake and pudding. And you can push it out, or you can push it up in space. And, and you can go get it. it huh? And you can go <laughs> get it. <laughs> That's cool. Isn't that cool? But that's a sometimes food. That's a sometimes food. Also, okay. sometimes food is candy-coated peanuts. Yeah, Elmo loves them too. You like these? Yeah. You like sometimes food? Mm -hmm. So, so you have to have, you have to eat healthy food in space. You have to eat healthy food because you want to have strong bones mm -hmm. and strong muscles because you have to do spacewalks. You have to do so many things in space that require good nutrition. Cool. Well, thank you, Mr. Little, for telling Elmo about how, what kind of food you eat in space. You're thank welcome, you. Elmo. Thank you. <laughs>